Uh, first by the student athletes, uh, Matt Bodie, Troy Grosnick, and Josh Juris, along with head coach Rick Bennett. Hey, Coach Bennett, uh, would you uh, please like to make an opening statement? Yeah, I'd just like to uh, congratulate your work and this team. It's a phenomenal uh, program, a standard that we all like to, you know, we all kind of strive for the soul. And it's very late, so let's start the questions. Okay, first for the uh, question for the student athletes. Yes. Ben Schaff with the Schenectady Gazette. Matt, you guys, you said it yesterday. Price guards, you work with them to be intimidated by BC. You guys, just how impressed with the way you guys played and handled the, the defending national champions and how, what, what this victory means? Uh, I thought we did a great job just sticking our game plan. Uh, I think they had the first power play there and they had a couple of chances that uh, we were able to hold them off. And then uh, getting that first goal, like I said last, last night, it was huge for us. And uh, we're a pretty good team when we're playing front and front. And uh, obviously, in the, the second period there, uh, getting us. Those two goals, but at no point did we feel uh, overpowered or intimidated by this team. Uh, we feel we're a pretty good hockey team when we're playing our best, and uh, lately we've been we, we playing pretty good. Right here, question. Josh Brent Sullivan from US College Hockey Online. Uh, can you just walk us through your goals? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the first one, um, this great play by Dan Carr, uh, keeping the puck in, kind of through three, three guys to him, was able to. Uh, uh, Sit out to the middle to find Kevin Sullivan, who just made a great pass to me, and I was able to get a good one on. And then uh, the second one, just kind of a broken play. Uh, the puck ended up on Wayne's stick, and uh, he just made a good pass for the guys today, and was able to get a good one on. So. Uh, Brandon Hall, Hockey Online. Hey, Coach, uh, you mentioned that you guys mobile defensemen jumping up into the play, and that was you know something that they felt hurt them. Um, now, how are you guys able to jump up and help you know, offensively, but at the same time, you know, respect their core as going back the other way? Uh, I think that's just uh, the, the condition we do in practice. Uh, we, we practice pretty hard, and uh, you know, guys are pretty tight at the end of it, but uh, you know, that, that's something we, we uh, pride ourselves on being able to do, get up and down that ice. Um, it works both ways, though. Our forwards do a great job coming back, breaking plays up, so it, uh, it's a two way street. And, uh, it's been pretty successful for us so far. Troy Kenshaw from the Connected Gazette. Tomorrow night you're going up against a uh, familiar foe, Quinn and Piat. How much excitement, I mean, how much fun is going to be to face a uh, foe and the regular season champion versus the uh, tournament champion in the CAC? Yeah, I mean, we all are playing a great team over there. Uh, a great goalie, great D, great forwards, great coach, everything. I mean, uh, the first class, obviously, they didn't uh, go on a huge streak this season and, and win our regular season for all reason. That's a really quality hockey club out there. And, uh, you know, they, they were great the number one seed in the for no reason. So, um, you know, uh, we got one in tonight against a good team. And, you know, we're looking forward to a big challenge tomorrow and hopefully picking up another W. That's your spot again. Troy, Brian Sullivan. After uh, last year's run of the pros before, um, do you feel like this was a bigger game, bigger opponent than Michigan State or, or UML? Um, not really. I mean, we don't really worry about who we're playing too much. I mean, we treat every game the same way. Obviously, we get to the NCAA tournament, and we're playing some pretty big name schools. And, uh, obviously, Boston College is a first class program. And uh, I mean, they're not going to be intimidated by anybody anymore. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a bigger game just because. Um, it's the first job in the last year of biggest game against Fair State. That's, that's the furthest we got. And, uh, you know, we're looking to uh, get to there again. Hopefully, we can get a good one. Matt, just after the college of Phoenix, can you just talk about your team's ability to shut BC down on the power play? Uh, you know, at times it wasn't pretty. They, they got some great players over there, and they had a strong round of it. But uh, I thought Troy did a great job. Smothering a lot of pucks uh, on the power play, and uh, you know our, our team we, we were eating pucks out there, right? blocking shots, and just uh, you know wearing, wearing our uh, hearts out on the sleeve. So we're just gonna you know continue to do that, getting shooting lanes. Uh, Coach Dumais done done a great scouting on uh, Boston College. We knew uh, some of the plays going in, and I thought uh, it was just a good job executing on the penalty kill. Okay, one more question for the student athletes. Josh, for you, you know you guys came into this uh, NCAA power play with. Just one for 12 in the last four games. How important was it to get going tonight with uh, three power play goals? 
Yeah, I think it was big. Anytime uh, you get to the stage, I mean, uh, special team battles is, uh, is key uh, to success. So uh, I think uh, getting those three goals was, was big for us. I mean, our mentality going in every power play is just kind of stick with it. I mean, uh, we were a five-man unit. We got two great ones. And we just uh, want to get uh, out working on the, on the four check and just kind of get over pucks. And that's what we did tonight. And I think that's what helped us. Okay, thank you. We'll not uh, dismiss the student athletes. We'll come head back to the locker room. Keep Coach Pettit around. Okay, questions for Coach Pettit. Great catch, Chuck. Good idea, is that. Uh, how important were those two four four goals to start the second period? You know, they from one another to three nothing. You guys had them all done. Well, Ken, it's a shocker that you're the first question, so I start off with that. Uh, it's it's real. I mean, you need uh, you know, to get the first one. It was absolutely paramount for us tonight, it felt. And we just kind of fed off it, and, you know, two, uh, two good plays by some uh, you know, pretty good hockey players. Question. Rick, this is the 80 minutes we were in the hockey tournament. This program's been coming along for a while now, and I don't think it's a big surprise that you guys won tonight, but it's a little bit of a surprise to outside observers, especially people in this region, that you just did that to BC. Did you guys surprise yourselves at all that you were able to hang five goals on BC and keep them shut out for as long as you did? <laughs> it's easy to sit here after a win and, and say yes. Um, do we think that we we're going to win this game 5-1? Probably not. But the same token, we felt we stood a very good chance of beating them here here tonight. This program's had some pretty big wins over the past few years. Um, versus Minnesota, Michigan, sorry Jimmy Bennett um, for Sun Mac, but uh, you know those are pretty good programs, excellent hockey programs. And tonight was just uh, another, you know, another win here for us. Anything else? Just have some college hockey news. Three power play goals tonight, and you held BC over seven on the power play on them. Can you just talk about how important special teams were for your team tonight? Well, as you heard the uh, student athletes talk about it, our PK, Joe Dooley, and Jason Tapp do an excellent job of getting these guys prepared for what's uh, for what's ahead. And the power power play, our volunteer assistant Joe Deal basically runs it, does a phenomenal job as well. Yeah. And you know, going into it, we were one one for thirteen, so we did some work there. And we got uh, an awesome puck luck tonight there. Okay. Hey, Coach, do you feel that you were able to uh, capitalize on any particular weaknesses that you saw in, on the footage, or did you just do exactly the same thing that you always try to do? Actually, try. We took the same game plan that we played uh, against Yale. And the fact that I thought Yale was a, a great test for us, and the fact that Yale's force could really transition the offense, but this team can bring it to a different level. Um, and they. <laughs> Didn't, uh, you know, didn't disappoint us. So our transition defense had to match their transition offense. Okay. Last question. What does it mean to have an old East AC uh, final at the uh, East, East Regional here? Uh, it means one team's going to the Final Four, and it's great, it's great for the league. You know? And you know, that's what we have to look at. And you know, hope it's uh, your, your team. But you know, right now, we got to. Go down, go watch the video, and just get ready for Quinn Piaf, which is a phenomenal team. Okay, thank you, Cubs.